What's up everybody, it's your boy West Grant, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd, this is the channel I give I the reviews on today's Nerd News, I also do this thing that I call unboxing, whatever I want, whatever I want usually tells me unboxing a statue, a figure of a comic book hero, superhero, anime character, or anything to such, sometimes there's some random things that I want to show you just because I want to show you, well today is a special thing, um, I ordered this like last year, and it came in like probably like a month or so ago, and this is a statue I bought from Sideshow Collectibles and it is a Iron Studio statue of Catwoman by Ivan Reese and let's just get into it now I'll tell you about how it's now, now if you guys don't know Catwoman she's been around since uh, she was introduced in June 1940 by Bill Finger and Bob Kane and she's been around since the first Batman issue one in fact she debuted in the same issue that the Joker came in and she was inspired, well the guys that created her were inspired by an actress, a 1930s actress who was uh, Jean Harlow and the main person that Bill Finger, he pretty much says that what we came up with the idea is the fact that guys are like dogs and females are like cats as far as guys are very um, faithful and friendly meanwhile females are cool, detached and unreliable which can they can you blame them but then again you know what this it was a different time back then very um sexist or whatever whatnot but jesus christ that's a lot of this oh well, um this statue is um the, the style and design is very reminiscent of the classic catwoman but at the same time it's like the um the 1993 uh design uh from the zero issue self-titled catwoman comic book I'm just I'm just show you the detail like of the box or whatever really really, really nice nice little sign to it um this is a statue I've seen where they actually have like a like this and a cat her holding like a, a small cat or something like that well um I don't know, that's like a special collector's edition sorry you know this is um this is what it is sorry now she's had a lot of like backstory and history because as far as females they love doing uh, different stories or histories for Catwoman. Um, the main one, there's one where she's pretty much, she's a small girl and she, her mom doesn't really like hanging around her. So therefore her mom likes to hang around with cats. She, they have a lot of cats in the house. And the father's a drunk. And so she likes to, I forgot how to open this thing. Oh, so uh, she likes to go to, she goes to gymnastics, pretty much to get away from all of it. And one day she comes home and finds her mom in a tub with her with her wrist slip. So basically, you commit suicide. Now, she, once she does this, you know they, they they go to you know call it, and the mom's dead. And the father, after that, really can't look at her because she looks too much like her mom. So the father eventually drinks himself to death. She calls the police, tells them uh, about the death, and uh, that she's alone again. They ask her where's her address, but she pretty much just hangs up, grabs her stuff, and dips off. They find her and then bring her into an orphanage institute where she gets treated really bad. All of them get treated really bad. And the warden, um, you know, she's one of the worst. And using her, she found out the, the codes for the alarm and eventually figures out a way to escape. And she pretty much escapes and does gymnastics uh, when she gets out. And she sees that the warden has been stealing money from the orphanage. But the warden finds out ties her up, puts her in a bag, and throws her off her cliff into the water. Selena survives this, gets back, ties up the lady, steals her necklace or some jewels, and then dips off. And from there, she's pretty much, she goes pretty much on herself and she's on the streets. Uh, she's pretty much stealing, uh, robbing, doing whatever she can to survive. And she works her way up, like, gets herself a nice little, how you say, uh, a nice little cottage or like little hotel like room suite and she sees in the newspaper that there's a vigilante around Batman and this is so she doesn't have any costume yet so while she's doing while she's doing her thing she she says you know what if he's gonna be a bat why don't I just you know be a cat so <laughs> that's pretty much how her whole suit and everything came up so she dresses up like a cat because of Batman dressing up like a bat then they, uh, she finds she meets into her and throughout the history she's been pretty much how you say it's like an antagonist but she's like friend foe she's she's always walked the border 
of being a, a good guy and then a bad guy. And she's she's been in so many things like it, it, there's so many, there's been times where in the Batman lore where Batman and her have gotten together, some old, old multi multiverse where Batman and her have a child, Helena uh, Helena Wayne, and she, Helena Wayne is actually Huntress. And hold on, let me see. So, Helena Wayne's Huntress. And uh, there's a famous issue, was it, the, the Batman Hush, where they show the scene of Selina kissing him. And you've also got the, the history, like, the, the origin of the Batman Year One, where Selina Kyle is actually a dominatrix. And she wants to get out of that life. Uh, the pimp is actually the, uh, her ex-boyfriend. And, hold on. All right, so yeah, so sorry, gotta be very careful with this. So hold on, uh, just kind of looks pretty much just like this. Okay, sorry. I just had to pay attention to this because I didn't want to break off anything. So, with the with Selena, she's always been she's been on the side. She's been she's been one of the origin uh, originators of the Black uh, Gotham City Sirens. She's worked with you know Harley Quinn, uh, Poison Ivy, and she's just she's everyone just loves her. She's one of the she's one of the most popular female anti-heroes out there like you know I've got a statue of Black Cat she was originator she was first granted Black Cat superpowers she's pretty much just uh, her abilities are she's super agile she's very uh, she's she's a thief she's very stealthy she's been trained by uh, was it Wildcat and so she knows how to fight she knows how to steal she knows how to she, she knows how to break into like pretty much any safe anything like that and uh, she's very, how you say, persuading. You know, she can. She knows how to use her female charm. So, this is the statue. If you guys want to see the full thing, this is the whip. I'm trying to see how you. How am I gonna do this? Like, how do they have this picture? Let, let's see. Yeah, pretty much. It's just like this. It's going around her. So, uh, let's see if I can just put this laid around her like like that. Not quite. It looks like she's gonna trip over this thing. <laughs> like, yeah, Jesus, right? A lot longer. Um, maybe I'll have it rolled up, like maybe like you know, like this, like have it like like she has a hand on it, and she's holding like that and some extra rope just to, to make it look nice. But I'm gonna have you guys just take a look at it. Very nice detail. Um, the eyes are pretty good. The paint job is really nice. You don't see it slipped anywhere. It's pretty much right on point. And uh, like I said, this is like the original outfit. Now I'm thinking about getting a black cat um, iron studio. That's pretty much the same kind of thing like this, but to have them both. Because the, the black cat I have right now, uh, she's she's fair, she's on a fairly large size. Like uh, I don't know if you can, uh, I can show you guys, but yeah, she's she's pretty massive. It's really nice and curvy, but like. If you want to scale them together, like look at look look at the size of these people. Like, she's nothing. Like compared, comparatively, like I would like to have a black cat that's pretty much the same size as her, because you know what? They're kind of one in the same, you know. And I just like the way they look. I just uh, like I said, just if you want to take notice of this, very good detail. This is a, I believe a one tenth scale. This 
this looks like some dust or something like that. Yeah, the knights, the, the high heel, the very, very high boots. Very, very, very high boots. Like, in fact, I don't understand. Like, like, I've always wanted, like, heels. I know can't woman can't be jumping around places like heels. She, like, she also has uh, metal claws built into her gloves. Therefore, she gives her, like, a little bit of power. She can grab and grapple and, and claw into things. It makes her, like, very deadly, very formidable as finished fighting. So she's got fighting, she's got these super claws, and she can pretty much like, tear everything apart. The suit, like I said, is very reminiscent of the classic, but I believe it's from, like, say, right here, back here, the 1993 Zero Issue Catwoman self-titled comic book. So, this is it if you guys liked it. This uh, little gem, little diamond. And like I said, they have a different version that has a, a kitten on her wrist, so that's pretty much it. This is how... This one goes down. So like Catwoman. Check this out, remember. Um I say. You gonna have a look right there. I don't know if you have a look like this. Like this. I don't know which one is better. You guys tell me because like the, the visual, I just I like the way she looks overall thing but also <laughs> like so I don't mean to like be blocking all this stuff like this uh this, just, just trying to see how she looks in this camera it's very hard to see very hard to see how she looks but like I said that's pretty much it hopefully you like this unboxing like a little history I gave you with it and um the images I throw in here but that's it remember to comment down below like this video, remember to subscribe, check out my last unboxing, check out my playlist unboxing. Remember, I'm Wes Grant, you've been watching Sub, Urban Nerd, and you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next unboxing.